when we are working in an organization and when we are working with the data there are lots of situation where we have to remove the unwanted information we have to delete the unnecessary information we have to get rid of the unnecessary data so what we generally do we delete the particular information that is required when i have this kind of unnecessary information let me give you a simple example there are 100 employees in an organization and from that organization five employees have been resigned and they are out of the organization so out of 100 five employees are out of the organization now if i look into the data or the database of the organization so i will be having the 100 employees data in the back end but now i have to remove those five employees information who are out of the organization so what is the probable command or what is the query that we are going to use to delete the multiple rows in sql server hi i am m asif hussain from no hive academy what are we going to learn in this video we are going to learn and understand how to delete multiple rows from sql server we are going to learn how to create a table and insert the values in a table so let's work on it by the end of this video you would be able to create a table you would be able to insert the values in a table and you could be in a situation to even delete a single row as well as multiple rows from a table so let's watch till the end my dear viewers here i have my sql server and what i'm going to do i'm going to create a table i'm going to create a table the syntax is create table table name so let me consider table name as employee i am creating the first column which is employee id column and id is an integer data type that i am considering now i will be considering the employee name column and name i am choosing the data type as varchar comma i am choosing the employee salary again i am going it with the integer data type comma with the employee department and department i am choosing varchar all right okay so now i have created a table with four columns in it employee id employee name employee salary and employee department so now what i am going to do let me go and create this particular table i'll execute it commands completed successfully now i am going to insert the values into my employee table that i have created so insert into what is the table name table name is employee and what i am inserting i am inserting the values values so let me consider the employee id 101 comma employee name let me consider asif comma employee salary let me consider 80000 comma employee department let me consider development so i have created one uh, value for my particular employee table so now in order to have multiple records you there are two ways so one you can copy this one and write the entire way or you can keep a comma and you can start writing the another record so that's up to you so let me go in this way so that uh, it will be easy for us in order to understand all right okay so now let me go and change the values here to let me consider another employee so let me consider the salary and here i am going to change for every particular employee details so let me consider the department as training and i'll go and consider the another value 103 104 105 106 107 108 109 okay then 110 okay 
So now there are 10 employees. So I'll just change the name here. Raj Karnav Rinsi. Any name you can choose it, it's up to you. Kashish Ajay Mittal Prince Bharat. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to insert all these records into my employee table. Okay, so now let me go and execute it. Let's see the output. So here we have the outputs, the commands completed successfully. Every query is executed. Now let us go and see the table. So I'll fetching the table, select a star from my table name employee. Okay. So if I execute it, we can see that we can see that there are 10 records and there are four columns in my particular table employee. So now let's consider that there is an employee called Prince who is out of the organization. So if I would like to remove the record of particular employee, I will go with the delete command. So if I would like to remove a row, an individual row I'm talking about. Now, if I would like to remove the entire table of employee, I will go with the drop command. So now if I would like to delete the individual, so delete from my table name employee where, where let me consider the employee ID, employee ID equal to 109. So if I would like to remove the specific individual, I'm talking about individual specific row with only one row, one value, then I'll go with delete from table name where and the condition so condition i can take the name as well or i can take the employee id as well i cannot take employee salary or i cannot take employee department because the salary and departments are almost same so what i'm going to do i'm going to delete this from the employee table so if i retrieve it we can see that that we have got the 109 record removed from my table employee so now there are only nine records okay now let me ask you a simple question my dear viewers as you can see that when 109 employee is removed okay or the data is not there in the table then we are getting 110 so 109 is removed and 110 so if we use the identity there then uh, we will get the sequence okay we are not using identity that's why we have got 110 itself and the employee id did not change okay so now the question is it is very easy for me to remove the individual row from a table. So where I have removed employee ID 109. What if the case, if I would like to delete the multiple rows from a table in SQL. So if you would like to remove the multiple rows, again, the same command we are going to use, which is delete, delete from table name is employee, where employee ID employee id here we are going to use the operator called in so here i am going to write the employee ids let us consider 107 let us consider 108 let us consider 105 okay so i would like to remove these three records at once if i would like to remove these three records at once i mean i would like to remove the multiple employees employee id 107 who is ajay 108 mittal 105 rinsi so all these employees rows i would like to remove so for this i'm using the operator in so now if i execute it okay three rows affected successfully if we again retrieve the table and look into it my dear viewers as we can see that we have only seven records now one is asif two is krupali three is raj four is karnav six is kashish and one one zero is bharat so as you can see that 107, 108, 105 and 109, okay, all these four are not there. 
this got removed deleted this got these rows got deleted okay so my dear viewers if you would like to remove an individual row then we can go with the where and the simple employee id condition or any any condition you can choose any column name that's up to you but here when i am choosing that i would like to remove multiple rows then here very simple and easy way i am using the delete command from table name where employee id in is an operator and we are going to write the id numbers here or you can choose any other condition as well that's up to you so in this video we have learned how to create a table how to insert the values in a table and how to delete the rows in sql server single row and as well as we have learned how to delete multiple rows in sql server thank you for choosing knowhow academy as your source for it knowledge we are always here to help you to navigate the tech world. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to reach out. It's been a pleasure sharing this information with you. Stay curious and keep learning.